What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweak called Ira. Now the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and jump into the settings of Ira so I can show you exactly what you should expect when opening it up. So here you have a whole bunch of toggles. You have this little grabber here on the right that you can obviously slide up and down. You've seen this a hundred times in other tweaks as well as the native iOS. So you can put these toggles in any order that you want to. Now down here at the bottom you have an enable or disable IRA. You will have to actually respring that in order to take effect, but we're not going to do that right now. So once you have these in the order that you want them to be in, all you have to do is go to your lock screen. So we'll go to our lock screen. So the first thing that you'll notice when you go to the lock screen with Ira is this themed slider. It looks really nice and it goes really well with the overall theme of Ira. Now you won't be able to change your text down here. That's from another tweet called Spring Tomize, but otherwise the slider looks really nice. So let's go ahead and pull down the notification center here. Now you'll notice all of your toggles up here, first of all, that you can scroll through and enable or disable as you please. And then down here you have just your regular notification center, except you're able to tap on these and you can read a, a whole lot of the body of the email as well as remove it or launch it. So if we want to remove it, we'll just remove it just like that. And if we want to launch something, let's go ahead and launch this one right here. It's going to open up the application of whatever the notification is about. So let's go ahead and go back. So you'll also notice that it has this blurry background that everybody enjoys. Also you'll notice if you start some music on your lock screen you will get the album art cover just like that. So another nice touch. So it's actually a really cool tweak and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new lock screen tweak. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.